Hello everyone, it's me, Yari Yari. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, so, we have a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. And wait, let's get into this hair. She had an audition today, giving black girl magic. The last time I made a video video, I was gonna make videos like my whole weight loss, but that thing became crazy because with weight loss, it slowly comes off. You know, there's Jurassic when you see pictures and stuff like that, but with weight loss, it um it comes off slow. So I I guess you can say I was a little like dysphoric about it. Well, I had a little body dysphoric. No, dysphoric. Dysphoric, yes. It wasn't coming off for videos to come off faster to make videos every day. So, whatever. Since then, I've lost like 100 plus pounds. So, she's feeling fabulous, she's feeling great. Her skin's glowing. Um, I know I've told some of you guys, I went from a size 24, 26 to now, it depends on the clothing. But I can wear a 12, a 14, 16. So in those three, um, depends what I'm wearing. Dresses, I can wear a good little tight 12. Um, jeans, um, more so, or like a 16. It's been one hell of a ride. It's great, I love it. I'm, um, I feel better, I can, you know, get around. Nothing feels tired. There's no heaviness on my legs. Um, I had, for those of you know who I dance and do musical theater, I had a really bad ankle for a long time and that's gone away completely. Amazing. And it's really allowed me to do um, a lot of things that I couldn't before. So, that's that. So, you, everybody knows that. So I had the weight loss surgery and my body went through some drastic changes. Um, and with that, I had to, um, you know, just kind of chill. Just kind of chill and didn't really do anything else. Um, just did the weight loss. I did a little bit of exercising, but because of how fast it was coming off, I was really afraid of a lot of loose skin. Like I have a little bit, but not like a ton. But I was afraid if I lost it fast, if I lost it fast, um, there would be too much extra skin, and I can't afford to go get a whole ass body lift. So let's slow it down just a little bit. But it's been cute. It's been great. Now. I don't know how you don't know, but if you don't know, I am a proud transgender woman. <laughs> um, proud transgender woman. And um, for some trans people, not all trans people, um, you go through different things, um, whether it's surgery, whether it's hormone replace, uh, replacement therapy, um, or just living your life, but living in your truth. So. When I was heavier, um, I've always been a curvy person. Like, I never was really shaped too round, but I was shaped, you know, kind of Coke bottle shape. And, um, and being trans, being a trans woman, that kind of helped me with my body dysphoria. Uh, dysphoria. And um, when I wore dresses, you know, I had like some chest, I had like this kind of smaller waist, but I had these huge hips and ass, and I loved it. So when I got the weight loss surgery, everything started to kind of straight down. Like I still have curves, like I still, she still got a little, she still got a little body, she got a little something. But, um, <laughs> but um, my body started to straighten out and it fucked me up, y'all. At first I was like, no, I'm so proud of this weight loss, I'm great, I can wear my stomach. Well, girl, I was wearing my stomach out anyway, but, um, once my body started to have this very masculine frame, it, y'all, I was like, mm, it would take me more, longer to get dressed. I was just like, mm, I don't like this. But yeah, straight frame body, wasn't feeling it. So probably in the last six months, five months, it has really, 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 really been on my mind to start uh, HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Now, not only the body was like my source of dysphoria, um, it was just like, I don't know, the more in touch I got with my transness, the more I realized that I'm 
further on the femme side of trans and wanted my outside appearance to match my inside appearance. Well, my inside, inside appearance, that sounds weird. Anyway, how I'm feeling on the inside. Uh, about a month ago, I went to, no, maybe a month and a half ago, I went to my first um, appointment at Aperture, which is a health clinic um, specializing in LGBT health services, and went to my first um, orientation, and it was great. It was just telling us about HRT, about different things you can do um, with um, feminizing services, I guess you can call it services, or different things you can do to help feminize, I guess. Um, so I had that. And then my next appointment was until a month later, and I was like, oh my god. So, I waited a month, waited it out, and I had my next one. My next appointment, they checked all my levels, made sure I was healthy enough, and that was the key point, to be healthy. So, you know, I just been really staying on my vitamins, because my body just went through, you know, a major change, and I was like, oh my god, what if I'm not, like, good enough to, like, start something else? So, um, I did that. So, between that time a month ago and today, I was like, oh my God, like crossing fingers, like hope I can do this, like hope I can, you know, start my journey. And today I found out that I am completely healthy. No malnourishment, so that means I've been on my vitamins, I've been eating right, um, no high blood pressure, no uh, low cholesterol, or low cholesterol, I've just been, you know, staying on my shit. So, the news. Today, she got her hormones. I'm so excited. Um, this has been a long time coming. I've been wanting to do this for like a year now, maybe a year and a half. And I was kind of just put it to the side like, yeah, maybe it wasn't for me, but I know for sure it was definitely for me. Um, and y'all know me, I like to share everything with y'all. So today is day one of HRT. Um, so what I got, I got some spiral, which is a blocker, which blocks the testosterone in my body. I got finasteride, which also is a blocker. Block that testosterone, but this one helps with hair growth. Girl, she's trying to She's trying to snatch this bitch off and wear her own shit all the way down, Rapunzel. And then I got my estradiol, which is the estrogen. So basically, when you block, you have to replace. Hormone replacement therapy. That helps you, well, your body, to um, produce more estrogen and to take down your testosterone. And when that happens, you take on um, what is considered female characteristic, uh, characteristics. So, what's gonna happen? I will develop boobies. Oh, I can't wait because y'all, these cutlets, they cute, but they sticky. Sometimes they be sliding. I'll be in auditions and they're like, oh, can you do some a little movement? And I'm like, hold on girl, let me make sure this don't fall the fuck down. Um, so that's gonna happen. Those are gonna grow. And then um, I'm telling y'all now, I will be walking around with no bra on because I'm gonna be bouncing my titties everywhere. So just be ready. Classy. Um, another thing will happen is the fat will redistribute in my body. So, it usually happens with the face. I already have high cheekbones, but they're gonna get higher. They're gonna be sitting all the way over here, which is gonna be bomb. We highlighting on these hoes. Um, hips, so these hips are gonna get, I don't know. Y'all, these hips are already big, so I don't know what's gonna happen now. But hips, um, booty. You can never have enough booty. That's gonna be great. I'm gonna have an ass like my mama. Sit up real high. <laughs> Ooh, that, oh, that's scary. Um, yeah, and um, my hormones will change. So, 
I'm watching y'all out there. If you're walking around sniffing me and shit, that's weird. It's really fucking weird. So yeah, there'll be other things that happen. You know, occasional hot flash, <laughs> mood swing maybe here or there. But I'm super excited. Um, I got to watch firsthand um, what hormones do. Um, Cause y'all know my boo is trans as well. We trans supremacy, T for T, fem for fam out here. So, which really helped a lot, which really kind of gave me an idea of what may or may hap uh, or may not happen to my body. Mm -hmm. it, it depends on the person, of course. Um, but I'm excited. I'm super, super excited. Um, I think it's gonna be a great journey and I'm gonna probably try to do these videos like once a week just to keep an update. And I think I'm gonna do a YouTube channel as well, so. Um, well, this may go up on YouTube, um, so that people can research, because research is the best, and see what's happening, and if any other young tea babies want to inquire about hormones, why not go on YouTube and learn some stuff? So, I love you guys. Thank you all for who are supporting me, and for, who, and for those who aren't supporting me. Kiss my hormonal ass. I don't give a hell. Um, because, you know, life is too... <laughs> Y'all, I have learned this this year. Life is too damn short. It's too short. It's too short. To worry about what people gonna say, what people gonna... How people gonna act towards you. And that goes for friends. That goes for family. That goes for coworkers. Who gives a damn? If you are not contributing to my happiness and not supporting me, then you need to be in this. You'll need to be in this. You can stay over there. Love you from afar. But yeah. So I love you all. Thank you for listening. I'm super excited. I'm gonna update you guys. Y'all gonna see this. Might get a little risque titty shot, but just wait. Um, but I love you guys. See you soon.